in the featherweights, and we've got a fight here between uh, this young man, who's uh, very good indeed, Beksat Satakhanov of Kazakhstan, who beat uh, Bombardier Ovidu Tiberiu on points, who was a bronze medalist in the World Championships uh, last year, so he has terrific pedigree. Up against this fellow, Jeffrey Matabula from South Africa. Both these uh, had fights in the uh, opening round. He beat Nuruddin uh, Mejahud of Algeria, did Matabula, 10-5. Second round then. But Satakhanov goes in, I guess, as the favourite. Well, you say that, Simon, but uh, Matabula actually came and, uh, and beat a fancied Algerian. Um, in his first bout, in his first bout, Mejoud, and uh, it was a bit of a surprise to me, to be honest with you. But you know, that's the way it turned out. I wasn't particularly uh, impressed with the Kazakhstan in his first bout, and I've actually got the South African surprisingly. Um, tipped him to go through to the next round, but we'll have to wait and see. He's quite tall and rangy. In fact, they both are, aren't they? They are. One thing, of course, we mustn't mention, Simon, is the fantastic weather we're having here, um, you know, compared to Europe, because it winds them up. <laughs> yes, you are allowed to be jealous. <laughs> Matabula with the gloves held high, almost a pickaboo defence. Satakhanov doing the early stalking here. And that pickaboo defence has been a very, very effective defence for an awful lot of these boxers. Because as you know, Si, uh, the, the punches that, that, that judges will pick up are the straight rights. And if you can't land on that little area um, called the face, then you've had it. You know, you're not going to pick up points. Although there is a move, you think, that... Uh, the body shots are being called occasionally, whether they yes. weren't at all before. <laughs> and just imagine how difficult the qualification would have been um, if you were boxing for the Soviet Union in the old days, because you had all of those satellite countries now that are independent. Yeah. Um, you know, if you were the Russian champion, oh, you'd come through hell and high water to get that far. And that's why they were so good. Of course, the Russians, still good, but not what they used to be. A bit like you, really. <laughs> but you're still good, Steve. <laughs> Well, at the end of a 3-0 round there for the Kazakhstani, rather surprisingly, not a single point on the ball for Matabula. Sadakhanov not really showing us the kind of form that uh, got him that terrific win against Tiberio, but he is three points in front. Of course, the, uh, the winner of this match will face the winner of the Brazilian against the Turk, um, Pagliani, um, in the next round, and then the winner of that one will take on the winner of the Argentinian against the Moroccan. So actually, there's, there's some still pretty tasty fights at the top end of this draw. There are. At the bottom end of the draw, though, let's just uh, water your... get your juices flowing. We've got the Cuban, and we've also got the reigning Olympic champion from Thailand, Samlak Kamsing. Who is a legend. Oh. A leg end, even. <laughs> no, he's uh, fantastic, and I'll tell you what, this crowd, which, which will be flooded with ties when he boxes, are oh, fantastic. They love him. This featherweight division, one of the most competitive of all. Indeed, yes. Uh, the, the, the biggest disappointment so far has been the light welterweights. Um, but as you, yeah, as you rightly said, um, you don't get any bad boxers, I don't think, at this level. Um, not in this division, anyway. But as I say, the light welters being the exception. Matt <laughs> Bullock trying to do more of the forcing, but still to register a single point. And of course you've had the opportunity, Simon, for the first week of going around to lots of different sports here. Um, how do you think the boxing compares to, to other things you've seen? Terrific. Uh, I think the Aussie crowd, they love a scrap, we know that. Uh, the Thais, the, the Koreans, the other nations make it a, a really lively, vibrant hall. 
I've been, uh, yes, I've been practically everywhere, I think. But I think this matches up. There's about, so what, 5,000 here now. There'll be about 9,000 for the semis and finals. They're going to extend the hall. That's right, yes. They're going to take down that wall on our left-hand side there. Um, and tickets, of course, for the finals. Believe it or not, folks at home, $355. That's about 30 quid in English money. The way the dollar is going at the moment, <laughs> it will be. Not quite. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it actually registers, what, what is that, about 120 quid, something like that. A lot of money. More and uh, a guy of pal of mine, Steve Sidey, who emailed me recently, he, he worked it out. It cost you almost 2,000 quid if you wanted to go to every boxing session. So millionaire's row, eh? It is. Not up here, though. <laughs> no. Uh, not a great deal to talk about in this second round so far, of course, as far as this match is concerned. But uh, as you can see there, the Kazakhstan has got a six-point lead now. And Mathabula is struggling, isn't he? He's out of his depth. Yeah, he's just off the pace. He's still forcing. Still doing all he can, but still the register. And uh, Sadakhanov now with an eight-point lead. And uh, he looks unstoppable does the Kazakhstan but you have to feel for Madabula as you say he is being beaten and uh, beaten fairly comprehensively and yet he probably feels if he could see that score and he'll, he'll know it pretty shortly that he is a mile behind he, he might wonder but there's no uh, ill justice in that quite a bit of replay here from one of the low lights of round two Yes, it, you know, quite obviously Mathabula here, this, uh, this South African, well out of his depth. Um, and Bekzat Salakhanov from Kazakhstan, he's uh, just 20 years of age. And uh, silver medalist in last year's Asian Championships. And I would imagine the Asian Championships are to be pretty competitive, yes. aren't you? Yes. The Asians... Not they love a fight, don't they? They do. They're not doing too well at these Olympics, uh, competitors from Asia, but in the boxing... That's where they hope to score. Indeed. And you mentioned the Australians, of course, earlier. They're not doing too well either. Um, they're always very game, but they're not getting any favours here whatsoever. And uh, it's been a shame, really, for the... The Aussie crowd have taken their losses pretty well, I must admit. But, of course, the swimmers have more than made up for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, good to see Matabula at last getting his scoring going, but still trailing by the eight points. And they've told, obviously, Matabula that he's getting further and further behind. He has to be more aggressive. Ooh, didn't score. But you wonder why. And there's a ten-point margin now. Oh, that's a decent shot from Matabula. That one did score. Long left hook. Yeah, good shots. He measures him well, doesn't he, Sadakano? Indeed. Any chance, do you think, of getting to the uh, magic 15-point mark? Every chance. It goes to 17-2, of course. This one is over. <laughs> Don't forget, if you uh, aren't near a television set, but at work later on today, you can always log on to Eurosport.com to find out the latest results in all the sports and even post questions to the commentators and, of course, some sportsmen, I believe, Simon. Exactly, yes. Uh, the questions will be uh, filtered through to the athletes and we hope for uh, responses from them. But you can be sure of a response from Mr. Holdsworth uh, and myself. No, I'm too busy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> Our website, just to repeat that, Eurosport.com. I will appreciate uh, any advice you might have for Steve as... Uh, well, it's not libelous. 13-2 <laughs> then. Not looking good, is it, for uh, Matabula? Now, Matabula, not short of aggression, giving it everything he can, but he just hasn't got the extra ingredient to haul this back. Sadakhanov endorsing the form that he had in the opening round when he took out uh, Bobby Matt Ovidu Tiberio of Romania, bronze medalist in the World Championships last year. Just considering, you know, um, Ramazan Pagliani um, in his first match against uh, Haider Ali from Pakistan. I mean, Pagliani looked poor. He won by a single point. Um, 
if he turns in that kind of performance against Simon, he's going to be out of this game, no doubt about that. And it's going to be to someone, well, it will, it will be to Satakhanov, who he will face next if he gets through his, that, his next belt against the Brazilian. So, still quite a lot of incentive, I think, for, for the odd wild card in this uh, top half of the draw. But the Argentinian looking good at the moment. Final round, then. And, uh, well, it goes without saying, Matabula needs a stoppage here. And he doesn't look to have the firepower to do it. Indeed, uh, he wouldn't bet against a stoppage for Sadakarnov. Get four more points to do it. Oh, good work. Good work. Yes. Matabula roaring forward. Yes, everything but the kitchen sink going in now. Diving in a little bit, but giving it everything he's got. Good to see. Satakarnov can uh, sit on his lead and look for the opening, and there may well be openings as Matabula launches at him. Well, you can't fault him for work rate, can you? No, you can't. I mean, it's, it's rough, though, and, you know, he just doesn't have the ability. And, you, and you know, we, we were chatting earlier about the qualification process, and I said, well, you know, there's, there's been a few very poor boxers in the games, and you wonder how they get through. But, you know, if you're, if you're the best in your area, I mean, what can you say? No. And it's part of the uh, governing body to, and the Olympics to widen the sport as much as you can and uh, to bring on the uh, less developed boxing nations. But it right. worries me to find the Americas now have a qualification system. The Europeans is very, very strong. Uh, and yet you, you get some pretty poor Africans and Asians coming through that shouldn't really be here. But good luck to them when they do get here. But as we can see, Mathabula is going to go home. But, you know, what he, what he can say, which is more than what we can say, somebody he actually won a bout in the Olympic Games. And he's giving it his all in his second. Up against a class performer, Satakana. And Satakana will, be will look better against somebody else. Probably Pagliani. Yeah, I, don't, I think you're right. He hasn't brought the best out of him, has he, Matabula? 16-5, then. Comprehensive win. And uh, rather like uh, Tamsimani in the last fight. Satakarnov just sitting on his lead, but uh, dead right, he did enough. Looks a good, compact, powerful fighter. And uh, Matabula's games are over, but uh, no disgrace. So Satakarnov will be through to... Uh, Meet either Pagliani of Turkey or Dos Santos Pereira from Brazil. That fight is coming up very shortly. That's right. And uh, the Brazilian, by the way, was the man who put out a very, very poor, exceptionally poor Australian James Swan, who just didn't perform.